We're finally ready for a question from 6.1, and we're going to start off with this. We're going to jump right into it, and the weight of one-year girls in the U.S. is normally distributed, which means, uh, and we're using the empirical rule, so we can use this chart right here. Our mean is 9.5 and standard deviation 1.1. So we're going typing in the mean to be 9.5 and the standard deviation 1.1. Now it should automatically update everything here that we spent time on. And I have the questions down here. I'm going to skip part A. We're going to go right to part B. 95% of the data is between which two values? So I do have this down here. And I can see 95 is right here. So it's everything in the pink and inside. So when I scroll back up, there's the pink, blue, uh, what is that? Green, green, pink, all of this. Now, you could add these three percentage these four percentages together, it will give you the 95%. But the question is asking you, which two values in kilograms are these between? And the cutoffs for the outer part of the pink here, mu minus two sigma and mu plus two sigma, those values are 7.3 and 11.7. 7.3. Uh, to 11.7. All right, so that's where, again, 95% of the values will be are between those two right there. If you did part A, you want 68%, you're just going with the this uh, green color here. So it's those two values, mu minus sigma, mu, mu plus sigma. All right, we're going to jump into 27. What percentage of the data is less than 8.4 kilograms? So these are values right here. So I just need to look for 8.4 kilograms. I see that right here. Oops, don't edit these. They're fine the way they are. What percent of the data is less than this? So this corresponds to this vertical line here. What percent of the data is less? There's 13 and a half. 12.35, but also that little part that is not uh, drawn up here. But again, we can just go and add these three numbers together and get that percent really quickly. So equals sum, and we want to go, we're adding the percentages, not the values, the percentages together. These three, right there, we get 16%. And now part D, what percentage of the data is between 7.3 and 11.7? So these are values between 7.3 and 11.7, right there. So that corresponds to uh, the pink, the green, green, and the other pink right here. So that's all these. And you can also just look down here, 95%, um, but we can also just do the sum and just add up the percentages. So it's between 7.3, so it includes all these four, and we get 95. Oh, let's do W. For some reason that didn't get on there. What percentage of the data is more than 12.8? What percentage of data is more than 12.8? All right, there's 12.8. That's near the end. It's not the end though. That's 0.15 is past that. We don't need a formula for that. 0 0.15. These are in percentages, so that's really small. Now we can go over and just make sure they're right. I know you don't have the uh, show the correct answer button, but I do. So here we go, part, oh, we didn't, I didn't write down part A. We did do part B, 7.3, 11.7. It's right there. Uh, part C is 16. And part D was 95. And part W we already saw. Okay. So I know this can be tricky. Just think you're either looking to find what values are you between. 
and it's not always going to be uh, the same amount of standard deviations over. Some of them may ask 9.5 to 11.7, and if it was between those two, you would do the 34 plus 13 and a half. So just be careful. Uh, usually the percentages, if it's given a percent, it'll be one of these three numbers. And you just have to decide, okay, if it's 99.7, then you're going to, you're not looking at these percentages, you're looking at the, between the values 6.2 and 12.8.